probably clicked on this video because you're having something in regards to oh my god i can't stop if you are experiencing this you should probably stop and confirm that your brakes are working the way that they should all right i'm gonna run through the basics real quick this right here this is your brake booster he just boosts the pressure in the system using the air that's a check valve i'm not going to get into that i'm trying to stay in one direction this is your master reservoir there's uh, several springs and valves in here and stuff uh, that makes the uh, calipers down below return back to home position. There are no, in your calipers that are the things that squeeze right in your brakes, up in here, mine are in the front are discs. They have no springs in them. The fluid is returned from a series of springs on the inside of this. Again, I'm being vague because I don't want to spend too much time on this. This video is specifically for a clogged line and how to figure that out. So one of them is going to be your front brakes and the other one's going to be your back brakes. Now the orientation is I'm just guessing on this, but it makes most sense that one is the front and one's the back. And one is your, uh, I think they call it your service brakes and the other one's your emergency brakes and then they keep them separate uh, basically in case something fails. Well, I've been having brake issues for a long time and I always knew my brakes weren't that good. And it's because the back brakes are actually not even working right. They are working, but they are blocked. And I've been having e-brake troubles, or also known as parking brake troubles. And we're going to troubleshoot this bad boy and figure out what the heck is going on. Now, behind this is a caliper. If you're having troubles, you need to jack up each wheel. And each wheel should be free and you should be able to spin it by hand up in the air when your foot's not on the brake and you can go hit the brake and they should be able to come right back out and they sh it should be working and every time you let off the pedal it'll suck the fluid back up through the caliper and it'll, and it'll basically head back up the line there's really no quick way to go through this if you're having some brake issues or you're not stopping or you don't have the braking power that you think you should then you need to go over to the other side and make sure that side's working too again I'm keeping this short and sweet to help you figure out your problem Okay, so here's our master cylinder, here's the front wheels, here's the front of the vehicle up here, and here's the rear of the vehicle. Rear of the vehicle shares the same line. There's, there's, those are together. These two up front, there's a mechanism called a proportioning valve. And what it means is it means that the uh, pressure is equal between the two of these beings. When you brake, most of your weight is shifted towards the front because of the momentum. So that's just how this, this system is set up. The, the second line right here is orange and it goes to a metering valve because the pressure basically waits. It's like metering around. Metering is the key word of, of waiting. So it waits until these two are right, basically, and then it pushes the equal pressure, being thus Pascal's Law, pushes it, and the whole system um, has the equal pressure all around. In short, without ABS, I do not want to get an ABS on this. This is not what this video is about. We are dealing, dealing with a clog, and I'm just trying to help you find it. So, you went to this wheel, everything was fine, you're not dealing with a sticking caliper, and it's retracting the way it's supposed to because this guy's sucking the fluid back in there with the spring, basically. And same thing, you check there, fronts are fine, and then now you're checking your back. Okay, so the cup that you're looking at, this is just something I rigged together for demonstrational purposes, represents the, uh, the main reservoir. And when uh, the lowest point is where the fluid's gonna wanna push out. So if I take that off, it's gonna squirt. So now, let's imagine that there's an air bubble in here. I'm going to create an air bubble because I'm going to let go, right? Can you see the uh, meniscus floating in there? Can you see that there moving up and down? So if I plug my thumb right here, there will be an air bubble that is trapped. The air cannot get out. And the meniscus is still, come on now, I want you to see it, is still right there. You see moving around? I move my thumb a little bit. Can you see that? Okay, so if there's air that's trapped in your line, it cannot get out. The fluid will never get to where it's going and your brakes will never work right. So all you have to do is open up the bleeder nipple, the little screw that looks like this on the very top because it's the highest point and the air should be escaping there. And uh, you should go from there. And if you, don't have, if you don't have the fluid coming out, obviously make sure there's fluid in your reservoir and uh, go from there. All right, so I'm on the back of mine. 
and you can see how that's loose right there and it's been loose like that for the last 10 minutes that means i've got a problem so i go up to where the t is the t is right there that block don't confuse all these uh lines going in there i'm trying to get it to where you could see it these this line right here is the inlet that line right there that far one goes over there and then this line goes to this brake cylinder over here and then this tube is just axle ventilation and that that it vents into your um, axle tube uh, the t is not related to this guy which vents to the tube all right moving right along so i also have this one loose as well last 10 15 minutes nothing so that means that i have a block somewhere upstream so i need to basically uh i, I got a couple different options uh, but you could start here uh, my bed's off for other reasons but now i have to find this line and i have to undo it and see if i've got fluid coming out okay this next clip i'm showing you right now is i've loosened my rear line that services the uh, rear brakes and you can see how the fluid's coming out so that means at this point um, there's no blockage coming out of the master cylinder so i got to go to the next point whichever's easiest um, you know for you start there i'm going to look around and see what's the next easiest point down the line okay so i've cracked the uh, bleeder nipple looks like that right there cracked him loose turns out for ford that this is the abs modulator uh, controller there's uh, some wires that plug in right there and for some reason this is only affiliated with the uh, back so this tells me right now that uh, fluid is coming down into this guy is all this says now i need to find out since this is the inlet and this is the outlet that goes to the back of the vehicle i need to crack this one loose and fluid should be coming out of here as well so i decided to go a little bit further downstream so right now i am right here on my pickup and fortunately i have my bed off i assume that you will not have your bed off but i did find coupling right there and I'm gonna take that off since this is still lowest point because remember the reservoir is the highest point of the whole vehicle and I'm gonna pop this loose since I'm having a lot of troubles getting that other guy off because I do not feel like replacing a brake line today unless the brake lines the issue okay on this part you can see that I'm able to pull this down I don't think this line is factory it looks like some Wow so I'm pretty glad I stopped messing with that brake module because I just saved myself the time of uh, trying to break that free when that brake line was actually getting ready to snap. But that's the way this should look when you're cracking these open. It should be nice and uh, pretty like that. Nope, not this one. Now I'm going to try it for the rubber hose. Whoa, a rubber hose is good. It's telling me it's getting down to this point. It's just dribbling down the bottom of the uh, axle tube. Oh, yeah, look at that one. Got him popped loose, and uh, he's just a dribbling. Dribble, baby, dribble. So that means that I have a clear path from my master reservoir coming to both of my wheel cylinders. Not what I expected, since they are both clogged. So at this point, I have to figure out why my wheel cylinders are clogged, and I'm going to try a couple tricks to see if I can unclog them. All right, got the video rolling right here, and uh, all I'm going to do is I'm going to put some pressure on the brake pedal, and I've still got the little bleeders, the nipple screws that have the hole in them, right? I have both of them loosened on either side, and I'm going to see if I just can't perhaps bust it loose. You must put pressure on it to make it so squirty. Oh, yeah. All right, we have a winner. If you look, look how nasty that stuff looks. It's all rusted up and ewy gooey. So the first part 
you should start at is probably here if you're having a similar issue. So that just tells me I got some rust on the inside of the uh, wheel cylinder. But she is leaking the way how she's supposed to now. Gravity feeding is working. Repeat, gravity feeding is now working. And that's what it's supposed to do. Just like that. Okay, so basically what I was trying to say in this video is if you're not dealing with a leak necessarily, but possibly a blockage like that, the quickest thing to do is just simply open it up at the other end and put some pressure on the brake pedal and uh, go from there. You shouldn't have to put all your force on that brake pedal. Um, if you do, you might pop a line if you got some rust. But uh, yeah, so you saw all that rust and the yucky brake fluid. That means that, yeah, it's not good. It means that it wasn't working the way it should if it was working at all. So do the same thing, cut it, cut your time really short on that. Don't spend all day and night breaking open <laughs> brake lines like that. Cut it short and sweet, that simple, done. Please like and subscribe. I spend a great deal of my time putting these videos together and trying to make it somewhat funny and helpful for someone else uh, at the same time. Thanks.